Mark to require 100. Looking at tops for a nice clean 100. Double 10 for Mark Dubridge. Game shot Bound. on the second leg. Quick Mark as a Dubridge. flash, all square this one. Mark, you require Beautiful 62. Beautiful setup shot. Utilising that treble nine in the end to leave top. Now, Dubridge could have gone ball with his last start and ensured two darts at a double here. He's only going to get one. Game but that shot is all he needs. Mark, Mark Dubridge, Dubridge off to a flying start at the Super Series. He beats the Group A winner, Christian De Boer, 4-2. And that is fantastic from Flash. In that game, he averaged 93.13. He had a brilliant 100 checkout in there as well. De Boer, well, he is having a little chat with Dubridge about everything that happened, but he's on the wrong end of that defeat. Shaking the hands between him and the winner of the match. Look at those stats. Very nice for Mark Dubridge, who lays down a bit of a marker here at finals night of the Super Series. We will turn our attention to Group 2 after the break when Moreno Michaels faces Wayne Jones. This could be a key exchange Game in this match. on the fourth leg. Moreno Michaels. Sure, the family will be tuning in, hoping that Moreno can come back with the five grand. 119. Super attempt from Wayne Moreno Jones. Moreno require 170. He does allow Moreno Michaels an opportunity to finish it here. He won't do that on the big finish, the big fish. And Jones can get 76. Level. Wayne, you require 20. Two tens to take Jones us to a decide. He squeezes that in the Wayne corner Jones. and the reaction of Wayne Jones. He's up for this fight. Wayne, you require 64. Another. Oh, that'll do nicely for tops. 24. He's had his chance. He's missed Moreno, his chance. Moreno, you require 32. Now Moreno Michaels gets his. Another chance. Game shot and the and match. This time, Moreno Michael. The Dutchman gets it done. Wayne Jones left to rue that missed start. Tops an opportunity disappears for the Wanderer, but it is the finals night specialist, Moreno Michaels, who gets the win. Hard work that wasn't it? Yeah, tough. It's tough at the Super Series on a Saturday. He takes the congratulations of the audience here in the arena, but it is. A defeat for Wayne Jones and a victory for Moreno Michaels in the first match of Group 2. A slender one at that. Coming next, we return to Group 1 where Mark Dubridge, well, he can go through if he can get the better of the reigning Super Series champion, Jim McEwen, coming next. Not so much of a production there. It was more just like a, a little room. Understated, a little bit like Jim McEwen, but I think he needs to... 133. Maybe just have a little bit more of that. Mark that can require 82. You can come by being a champion. Use that shield of success. Wear it. Let your opponents know that this is your stage. It might be Mark Dubridge's stage tonight. Can he find the bullseye? Game oh, shot on the what second a shot man. that is. Delightful dart by Dubridge. And a big leg there from McEwen to get himself back into this one. He will need to break the throw again, though, if he is to pick up the points. They're both players playing at a very decent standard. Averages north of 90 for the pair of them. And Jim's going up. 180! How much a 180 can change in this short format. As high as almost 99 here. 59. One Absolutely incredible stuff. Jim McEwen is on a nine dart finish. 42. 141 points to go. 41. To add himself to the role of honour of nine dart finishers here at the Super Series. Treble 19. Double 12. 117! Oh, so close! So close to seeing the first 
Super Series Saturday night Arta. Almost magical from McEwen. It was interesting watching the Mark Dudridge table, who Jim was almost disappointed 24. not to see it go in, despite the fact that it had been against Dudbridge, who is a long way back in this leg, and the likelihood is it's just a matter of time before he's got a level match. Game shot on the fourth play. We have that now. Jim McEwen. Two, two. Dudbridge is almost through. And if he hits double 16, he will Game be. Game shot on the fifth play. And Mark Dudbridge, Mark Dudbridge is the first player to make it through to the semi-finals. Jim McEwen looking to get a priceless win. It's a dart tops. Game shot. Uh, Jim and McEwen, match. who now in this double 12 for a nine dart finish in that game, picks up the points after a premier performance, the performance of a champion. And the man who is the reigning champion. Defeats Mark Dudbridge. Despite that defeat, Flash is through. He needed three legs. He got three legs, but he got beaten. Jim McEwen with an average of 101.3 in a really high quality affair. Look at those numbers there. Five 180s between them, eight 140s, three out of five on the doubles for Mark Dudbridge. The three legs he needed to qualify, but a flying start for Jim McEwen as well. Kevin Painter, the last player to be out of the traps tonight. He's in action next. He takes on Wayne Jones. Wayne, you require 68. I feel he's had a chance Wayne, here, Sean, the Kevin third Painter, leg. to win that Wayne leg. Jones. Be a little bit... Wayne, you require 56. Jones to finish the job. Game and shot. the Wanderer and the match. is through Wayne to Jones. the semi-finals. Kevin Painter, well, he's got work to do. He's off stage very, very quickly indeed. Back to that practice board. But for Wayne Jones, despite that defeat to Moreno Michaels in his first game, he's done enough to put himself through to the semis. That 4-1 victory more than enough for the Wolverhampton man who goes through to the final four. Kevin Painter will need a big win in his last game against Moreno Michaels. Coming next, it is Jim McEwen back in Group 1, taking on Christian DeBert. Game shot on the third lay. Christian DeBert. Christian, you require 156. Oh, oh my word. He should be going now for double 18 to get ahead and within one of qualifying. 60. Well, that is remarkable. Three Jimmy darts in the treble 20. Two of them ended up on the floor. Nail biting Jimmy stuff. require 100. It's normally the combination shots that bail you out of situations like the one Jim McEwen's played himself into here. Game shot on the sixth play. And that means Jim McEwen. McEwen makes it. After all the drama, and it's been typical of his week. Jim, you require well, the end for Christian De Burr. He's been a great addition to this series, the ADC Game Europe qualifier. And the match. But it's the Jim champion from the previous series, Jim McEwen, that makes it through to the semi finals. Jim McEwen, a 4 3 winner. And he is going to take part in the final four again. There is the stats from that game, McEwen. All that matters was getting the three legs he needed and the win. He tops the group. He's through the semis. Kevin Painter and Moreno Mikels up after the break. So Kevin, you require 133. Of Kevin Painter here and Moreno Michaels. This could be the spark that brings Kevin Painter Game into life in this fixture. Leg. A huge 1-3-3 three, three finish. Moreno he now does know 40. that his fate is out of his hands and no ignored from the former players' champion, who wants to now rely on more misses Game from Moreno. But misses Moreno Michaels. are not happening. And Kevin Painter is out. Moreno required 34. The least spotted double on the board. Oh, that's a long way off. 18. Kevin Painter, maybe departing us, 40. but it may be with victory. 
game It is a victory shot. for Kevin Painter, but Kevin it's not Painter. enough to get him through. The artist bows out despite that defeat of Moreno Michaels. He could still be through. He loses 4 2. A 1 3 3 for Kevin Painter in there. A win to sign off, but it is Michaels, Jones, Dubbridge, and McEwen in the semi finals, which are coming up very, very shortly indeed. At that time, I went nine matches unbeaten at the Moda Super Series. Did Moreno there, oh, just injecting oh, a little bit more oh, pace back to natural see. rhythm. And puts himself in full command now, not just of this leg, but of this match. Well, when he's hit, oh, he oh, fights oh, back. Trinese. Beautiful from Moreno. He's looking at a sprint finish here. A sprint finish to the final. Guarantees himself three darts at a double. There is absolutely nothing that Jim McEwen can do now to stop Moreno Michaels. I mean, three clear darts. Make 52. it six. Moreno, you require 40. Three straight final appearances. Game and Michaels and the match. makes it Moreno to Michaels. the money match again. Thrown dart, in fairness to Wayne Jones, but it could be a costly one. Game shot on the it may well be Dubbridge levels at two two. Wayne, you require fifty six. So for Jones to join Michaels in the decider, double eighteen, double nine. Game shots and, and Wayne the match. Jones wins. Wayne Jones defeating Dubbridge, who have been such a key protagonist of this week of the Super Series. But it is Wayne Jones through to the final. Wayne, you require 36. Game shot on the second leg. Wayne Jones. More. Wayne, you require 16. Game he shot needs on the third one more. Wayne Jones. Not Moreno, yet. Moreno, you require Didn't 87. Didn't even entertain the idea of the treble, did he? It was big 11 and bull. He was in danger of hitting double 11, actually. He was that far away from the treble. No bull for Michaels. He Game wants double shot five, and he play. takes it. What a clutch Moreno kill Michaels. All here with what Wayne Jones is doing. He's down to just nine darts. What a horrible first dart well, that was. He had to it at 140. Wayne, excellent, you require 81. execution. But it could be over. But is he going to go for this? Is he going to leave the ball or not? He thought about not. He left it. 56. And he's failed to find it. And Moreno, now he's thinking I should have just left myself something straight. Well, that's the benefit of hitting that 140 for Moreno. Because had he not, then Wayne Jones would be coming 58. back now with three darts Wayne, at the double. Wayne, you require 25. Trying to put that scoreboard pressure in the importance of hitting... And that's a mess. It's a big miss. Double two to clean up the scraps. Game shot. And, and the match. joy for Jones. And the Moda Super Series. The Wanderer Wayne Nine is champion. the winner. Wayne Jones. Wayne Jones takes the title on week nine here at the Moda Super Series. It's a final defeat for Moreno Michaels after Jones got the job done in emphatic fashion. It's an excellent performance, really, when you crunch the numbers in the end. An average of 94.18, and the finishing absolutely exemplary from Wayne Jones. Four out of seven on the doubles. A couple of 180s in there as well, including five perfect darts as he looked to close out that match. And he did that very, very well indeed. It was a night that saw... The reigning champ, Jim McEwen, bow out and his title defence ended. That was by Moreno Michaels, but he could not go on to win the week. That belonged to the Wanderer. The winner is Wayne Jones. Yeah, Wayne Jones, a massive congratulations. Just sum up how you're feeling. Yeah, I'm obviously really pleased. I didn't think I threw great today, but wins a win, so... Yeah. And you've been consistent over the course of your three days here, haven't you? Yeah, I started off a bit rough Thursday. I got better last night through well last night, and I struggled through tonight. I didn't play particularly well again, but you just yeah, you just keep going, and hopefully you get it. Does it play on your mind at all? Because you played Moreno Michels in the group stages. Does that play on your mind at all when you then have to play them again in the final? 
Not at all. I should have beat him twice and lost <laughs> both times. So, no, it was nice to get me out and back. Yeah, absolutely. And just sum up how much this means at this stage of your career to be beating the players that you've beaten tonight and going on to lift the trophy. Yeah, it's still life in the old dog yet. I've, every now and again, I have moments and obviously tonight's a moment. So, yeah, I'm very pleased. It certainly is. We're going to let you have your moment now. Go and lift the trophy in front of all these fans. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Jones. <laughs> Matt Edgar alongside me. Now, to reflect on what we've just seen, absolutely superb, superb consistency from Wayne Jones all night yet again. That's the word we've used all week until that final. That was brilliant. Every single moment went right for him. That 180 to kick off the last leg, back in it with 140. He just restricted Moreno Michaels to just little glimmers of hope. Moreno did his bit. He applied the pressure where he could, but Wayne Jones was having none of it. That was brilliant. You said before the final, didn't you, that Wayne Jones would probably be that one that wouldn't get embroiled with what Moreno was doing up here, and he certainly didn't. No, absolutely not. It was a really good performance all the way through from the first start to the last. Looked completely in control of himself. And like I said, Moreno, that 140 at the end there, really did apply the pressure, made Wayne Jones think. And at that point, once some thoughts start going through your head when you're so close to the finishing line, after he's just mismatched darts as well, you can't commend him any better. It was a really, really good performance from Wayne Jones, a good champion, and he's going to have a good chance at Champions Week. Yeah, he was quite critical of himself there, wasn't he? Put himself down a little bit. He certainly performed better than he thinks he did. Don't believe a dart player. <laughs> we'll always tell you every time. We're never happy with what it is. We want a bit more because you sort of feel if you come up and go, yeah, yeah, I did brilliant there, that you think everyone's going to think that that's my best. And you want people to know that you got a little bit more in the locker. But he'll be happy with what he's done. When he takes stock, when he wakes up in the morning and he looks back what he's done over the last couple of days, he'll be delighted. Yeah, really, really excited to see what he can do in Champions Week. Really interesting, though. The first thing he said to me as soon as I said, congratulations, Wayne, he said, well, I've missed my train home now. That's all he's thinking about. He can get a taxi if he wants now, can't he? He's got to get a limousine. He'll be fine. He's got plenty of money in the pocket now. £5,000 and a chance to lift that 20 grand. Yeah, and let's turn our attention then to Monday. Alex Spellman's in action. It's going to be an interesting week. I'm going to put you on the spot. Why not? One more time. Who do you think comes through that corker of a lineup we have next week? Can I pick seven? <laughs> uh, Connor Scott. I'll go with one, but yeah, I'll. I'll can give you seven potential. Amazing. There we have it. So Wayne Jones is the man here at the Super Series in week nine. We go again on Monday morning with a bumper lineup.